what's going on you guys it is sunday june 9th we got eight more weeks until we have the show um had a burrito this morning with my celsius have a little bit of carbs in um some steak and getting my workout in we worked out last night too so pretty much went from shoulders and traps last night to legs and core now um that way i give my whole upper body a rest for tomorrow um i let my trainer go you know sometimes you gotta fire your coach and get a new coach sometimes things aren't working out and i felt like they were not working out i tried to explain things to him like hey this is it working out or this or that or <clears throat> whatnot i'm not seeing no results and basically he said give me until august or i'm full of shit so i you know I'm not giving until August because I am paying $3,000 for you to get me where I need to be. And if I don't see the results of the muscle and like tone and whatnot, why am I going to continue with you? So we got a new trainer. So far, a good guy. Um, we got about almost three more months of with the trainer that I'm going on my own and um we're gonna hit it hard on my own for until May of next year so but it's like that's the thing like if a client is telling you like hey this isn't working out I feel it better on this or on that you know and then you come off and say like, oh, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in dumbbell bench press, barbell bench press, or whatever it is. Like, what I don't get is, yes, yeah, Smith Systems and all that is less issue for injury maybe and this and that. But barbell has been there since the 80s, the 90s. Like, it's known to work. Simple as that. And for me, I feel a way bigger pump in my chest when I do barbell, bench, and incline. That's just how I do it. That's how I feel my pump and everything else. So there are some things I do Smith Machine on, but a lot of it is free weight. It's what I was taught. And that's how I know I'm, like, I can see also the the results, like, my pump and all that. So, like, yesterday I did, um, like, 110 pound on the Smith machine uh, shoulder shrugs. Got a hell of a fucking pump, though. And that's what I mean, like, certain machines and weights, yes, will work better than others. You know, me doing a barbell shrug on a single arm definitely works too. So there's a variety of things that I can do. But if I'm on an incline machine bench and I'm feeling all my, my like muscle and all that in my tricep, it ain't fucking working out my chest. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. Being in and out of the gym for... 15, 20 years, sorry, 20 years almost, on and off since high school, <clears throat> I kind of know a thing or two, and um, talked to the regional director, told him what was going on, and uh, told him, I'm like, hey, I was taught heavy weight, low reps to build muscle, to gain weight, um, he agreed with me, and um I told him that my trainer's not doing that. We are doing a lot of um, heavy reps, low weight, 4x12s, which, yes, you're going to failure, 
but not everybody's body develops differently going to failure. Um, so, you know, I already noticed a little bit of a difference in my arms, maybe like one eighth of its size by doing my workout. You know, I keep track of my, my weight, my measurements, um, everything, thigh, calf, forearm, arms, chest, shoulders, all that I keep track of for the pure fact of knowing my progress. If I'm going up, that's good. If I'm slowly going up, it's okay. If I'm going down, there's an issue. And um, so, yeah, pretty much he didn't like it. He did not like it at all. When I fired him on Thursday, he was very, uh, very salty, very aggressive. And um, yeah, it was crazy. So first time having to file a complaint against a trainer because he took it personal. And, uh, you know, you don't stare down a client because they're trying to tell you something's not working. You don't want to listen. And then they fire you and go with someone else. You know, you got to remember as a trainer, that client is making you a paycheck. They are paying you their hard-earned money to hopefully see the results. You know, I saw the results cutting down, which already before my trainer, I already cut down. You know, I went from 147 down to 130, 38, and then 138 down to 131 with the trainer. So I already know what to do. It's the fact of, uh, being on track and being on point, which is what I'm doing a lot better on. So, yeah, pretty much that's the whole Sabir on how the week's been going. We are at 135.4 pounds. We got about five more pounds to go up before show. Depending on where my body is, I may do the bodybuilding one too if I can. I'm pretty sure I can do both. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do both. So we're doing the men's physique and possibly the bodybuilding as well. If not, we will do that next year. Um, talked to a long time buddy from high school yesterday at the gym as well. And he used to be a personal trainer too, which was kind of cool, didn't know that. Even he was like, hey, if you have any you know, issue or cross reference or you wanna know something, shoot me a message. So. But yeah, it was nice to see him yesterday. Worked out. Even he was like, it was like, dude, you're you got like natural traps, which I never had those pop up until recently. So, and um, because I'm doing a variety of workouts with that. So, matter of just getting the arms bigger, the thighs bigger, the chest bigger, and the calves. So pretty much gonna be working out. Almost spill my drink. Um, chest three days a week, legs three days a week, core, and, um, then I'm going to probably switch it up for the last four weeks. So chest three days a week ish, more than likely, um, shoulders twice a week, traps three times a week, legs three times a week, just be able to get to where I want to be and see some growth. If not, if not even growth, at least tone it out. Um, hope I switched it around. But yeah. So I'm going to hop off on here. There is like nobody. I mean, nobody here. There is one, two, three, four, five, maybe six cars here. That's it. This is what I like. Honestly... I might start coming on the weekend just because I can actually do a lot more lifting without waiting for anything. So Wednesday might be my, my full rest day and this hammer the hell out all weekend and on during the week as well. So 
because literally I can go do all my stuff during the day, have a good time, go hang out with people in the evening like I did last night, come to the gym, get my workout in, and then from there, do the same thing on Sunday. Come early in the morning like this, go home, prep my food for the week for a couple of days, close to a week, and uh, rest until tomorrow, and then have the full day of Wednesday to rest for my chiropractor, because I see one of the, I see a chiropractor pretty much once a week for my back, so with my foot, because my foot is damage nerve damage in my l5 s1 which is my right calf which explains all the pain in my right foot so slowly but surely getting that slowly worked out if not at least semi ease on the pain other than that see y'all later